Hey folks, today we are going to be out in the water again and we're going to be trying something a little bit different. We are going to be using artificial bait. This is my brother Chang and myself, Steve. What we're going to do is be using a sponge and soaking it up with some Pro Cure. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll let you know. All right, guys. Doing some testing out today. I just got a sponge. I'm gonna use some uh, scents. See if it'll attract some crabs. Uh, there we go. I don't know. Get some Procure bait scent. I use this for halibut fishing. Put that down. Let's let that soak a little bit. Use some uh, smelly jelly, um, anchovy scent, mix it all in. All right, Let's see if that'll attract some crabs. Put it in my bait bag. We'll see how it does. Got my brother testing out like squid and other stuff. So I think we got a fish carcass. Got some chicken. All right, let's drop it down and see what happens. See if it'll attract some crab. Yeah, so I, I use two buoys on mine. You guys can do whatever you want, but this is just so I can see it from far away. And most people use the red and white one. And this actually came with the leaded line here. And so I'm just throwing it out there anyways. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. Get some Procure and squirt it all over my sponge here. Let's see how this goes. Look at that. Do the same for the other side too. Oh, 
All right, so we got it on both sides, and I think that's gonna work. Well, I'm hoping at least. Just gonna hook it onto our crab net here. Got nothing else in there except for this procure and this sponge. And we will be dropping, well, we'll be dropping it right around here. Let's go. Here we go, dropping down the artificial bait. There it is. Let's see how it goes. the artificial bait we're gonna leave it in there for about 15 minutes let's see here does it hit not yet it's about 50 feet here all right we just touched nope never mind we can touch bottom yet all right we just touched bottom there it is. So 15 minutes. It is 8.05 right now. And I will see you at 8.20. Alright, so this this pot we're gonna use some frozen squid. And compare that to other baits I'm using. See how that does. Alright, I'm gonna. This has got like fish, herring, everything in here. This one should do well. We'll wait another 30, I mean 15 minutes and we'll check it again. All right, we're gonna try something a little bit different. Let's try some beef jerky, look at that. And this time we're just gonna toss it in our little bait bag. Now we're gonna try some beef jerky. Beef jerky, uh, nothing special, just it says here, salted black peppered beef jerky. That's it. Let's see how it goes. Don't want that in there. Alright. We're getting her back in. Beef jerky. Let's go. Alright, so we're going to just put some drumsticks in there. And we'll see how that compares with the... With, with the fish carcass and the beef jerky and the artificial bait. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're just gonna put all these baits per relatively closely to each other just to see what they want. And we're gonna let you guys know how it goes. All the crab nets are placed relatively close to each other just so we could test out to see which one works best. Alright, here we go. We're going to be pulling up the beef jerky. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully we got something on here. Oh no! Excuse me? Nope, no. 
nothing. Nothing on the turkey? Nope. Guess they don't want that stuff. <laughs> No preservatives. <laughs> they want natural, no preservatives. All right, looks like nothing on the beef turkey, guys. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Oh, gonna pull it up, see what happens. Hopefully uh, this sponge uh, soaked in uh, some scent. We'll catch some crap. So yeah, um, yeah, I didn't get anything. So yeah, I'll probably just uh, go back to fish carcass or chicken. All right. The uh, artificial scent didn't work too well. Nothing. All right, this is my pot with the squid in there. No, yeah, with the squid. See how this one does. All right, not bad, not bad. There's what three keepers in there. It's not too bad. Well, it's missing a claw though. Looks like a lot of them are missing claws out here. Yeah, six and a, six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. This one's big. Oh yeah, that one's big. It's like, yeah. yeah. That one's big as they get. Yeah. About six and a half too. Pretty good. All right, looks like squid's doing the job. Let's go back down there. All right, this one is gonna be the squid. This one feels good. This one feels really good. Oh wow, really good. Yep. Yeah, a lot, dude. I probably got like my limit already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, squid's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and pull my uh, pot out. This one has a fish carcass, herring, they're all mixed in there. this one has a lot more than the last pull. Last pull I got like a three keepers. Oh yeah this one feels a lot heavier. Definitely a lot heavier. Big ones, guys, big ones. There's uh, six keepers in here, guys. Big ones. Look at that. Six keepers in this one. All like, I don't know, six, six and a half, seven. 
So this is a four. Four, this is five. Six. Wow, that's like a seven. Seven. Ooh, almost got me there. Eight. Nine. All right. I just need one more for uh, limits. Not too bad. Not too bad. Drop it back down there. So this is the fish carcass. Let's see, we'll see how we do on this one. Pretty heavy, that means you gotta have some. Oh, nice! Got some good ones. Anything? Oh, yeah, that's limits, huh? Oh, yeah, some big crabs. I've already limit, and it uh, looks like my brother's limit out too. You need four more, right? That's yeah. that's like five in there. Yeah. Let me just make sure. Just leave it in the pot. Yeah, he's got limit too. If that's small, then just let it go. Yeah. That one's huge. All right, pulling up these last uh, pots. You've already all limited out, but uh, you gotta pull them up. Hey, your turkey's got nothing in here anyway. Looks like the turkey didn't do it well. Looks like the turkey didn't get nothing, but we already limited out. All right, this is gonna be the final try on the chicken drumsticks. So far, not doing too well. The beef jerky didn't do well. The artificial bait didn't do well. And the drumsticks aren't doing well either. Let's find out if we got something. It looks like they're more attracted to either the fish carcass or the squid. The, squid, the squid's doing just as well as the fish carcasses. I don't know, this one's not too heavy either.
Well, that's one thing. Yeah, I got about two keepers only though. So not as good as the as the fish. Well there you have it folks. The king is probably the fish carcass and the squid is probably just as good. But as far as chicken, it's okay. I'll put it that I'll put it that way, it's okay. And jerky is a no-go and artificial is a no-go.